Yo, what up? Who is Snoop here? Thanks for following me on my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking about something that should interest everybody. Keeping your money in your pocket. Saving and investing. Oftentimes I'm hit up and I'm asked, hey Snoop, I've got an extra five grand, ten grand. What should I do with my money? Number one, you want to make sure that you know exactly how much extra you even have. A lot of people don't realize how much extra money they have or they say to themselves, I don't have any extra money. I can't save. I don't have an extra hundred dollars or thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. Guess what? Most likely you do. Most likely you have more discretionary income than you think you do. What's discretionary income you ask? Google it. <laughs> now I'm just playing. Discretionary income is the amount of money that you have left over after all your bills are paid. Um, number one, you always want to know how much discretionary income you have. So you need to budget. You need to make sure that you have a budget and so that you know exactly how much your bills are and then how much is left after the end of the end of the month. If you don't like that number, you may either need to do something to bring in some extra income or decide to make some sacrifices. So maybe you're not going and maybe you're decreasing your cable package or you're decreasing one of your bills, etc. We're not going to even talk about going to the mall and expenses and things like that because before you know how much you have to go to the mall, you have to determine how much your discretionary income is. But once you know how much your discretionary income is, then you can decide, hey, what it is that you want to do with that. Another way to actually save more so that you can have more discretionary income, cut your debit card up. I tell people this all the time, okay? So let's say it's Friday night and you're going out, hanging out with the buddies. Don't take your debit card with you because what's going to happen? You'll be out and you'll be swiping. You get to drinking, get into good spirits, feeling good. You want to buy everybody rounds of drinks, things of that nature. But if you go to the ATM, and say, hey, okay, well, I'm gonna spend 150 tonight. Take $150, you leave your debit card at home. You have no choice but to only spend $150 that night. The next question is, Snoop, what do I do with this money? All right, number one, if it's an extra $100, what you can do is you can open up a money market account. A money market account is much better than just a regular bank account because with regular bank accounts, you're not really getting any interest for your money. With money market accounts, you can get anywhere between one to 3%. Now, let's say you've done really well and you've got an extra $1,000, okay? With extra $1,000, what I would do with that is actually put that in a CD, okay? So, we're well, putting that in a, in a CD, what it is is it keeps it locked up for a certain amount of time and it guarantees you an interest rate. So it's not like the regular stock market or anything like that where it's more of a gamble um, with CDs, you're actually guaranteed a certain amount of interest. Okay. Now, if you really big balling and got an extra 10 grand, you want to put that into the market. Okay. So if you got an extra 10 grand, you definitely want to make sure that you put that into the market. Um, a lot of times people are like, okay, well, what exactly do I invest in in the market? Well, you want to make sure that you seek out a professional that that's what they do. Get your financial advisor. Make sure you interview them just like you would do anyone or anybody else that you're going to hire. Okay. So you want to enter interview some people that are financial advisors, decide who you work best with and put your money into the market. Okay. Now when investing into the market, always remember, don't invest anything you can afford to lose. For example, right now the market is down. Okay. Um, coronavirus being that so many different things are made in China. Um, it's really, really messing up the market. We're also, we're also in an election year. Okay. So that definitely makes the market fluctuate as well. But when the market is down, that's when you want to invest the most because what happens is the stocks and mutual funds and different things of that nature, they're on sale. The market is down, so the value is down. You want to come in when the market is down, so when it comes up, your money is already invested and you get those gains, okay? It doesn't feel as good if your money is already in the market and it starts going down, but hey, as long as you don't sell, you're good because history shows us the market is going to go back up, okay? But if you sell what you're doing, you're locking in that loss. Don't lock that loss in. Ride that wave out, okay? Ride that wave out, get your gains, and go from there. But that's what I would do if I was you guys. I'm telling you, take it from me. I got a bunch of money in the market. <laughs> 
Yo, just a reminder to make sure that you guys are subscribing to my YouTube channel at Who Is Snoop so that you can get your daily dosage of financial tips, entrepreneur tips, um, and just to hear my crazy ass talking, what I gotta say. Subscribe, like, and comment on my YouTube channel at Who Is Snoop.